I'm about ready to press the bearing into the connecting rod. I froze the bearing overnight, so it's, uh, but notice it's in a sealed container, so the moisture hasn't affected it. And what I'm going to do, I mean, generally you want to keep the lubrication on the bearing, but I'm just going to wipe off the outer race, and you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. So now this bearing is ready to install, so I just wiped off the outer race with solvent. Also look what I have here, and that's my rod oven. And the piston is in the rod oven, and at this point it's just about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is exactly where I want it to be. So I'm expanding the piston, I'm shrinking the bearing. So th this is just masking tape. Uh, there's two things I'm gonna do with the piston. I'm going to put just a little bit of this press fit lubricant on the piston. And I'm gonna put it in two places. So just, this is to avoid galling. And I'm gonna put it on the sides here, like so. And this side like so. And in the center, I'm going to put some sleeve retainer, just a couple of drops to make sure that the bearing doesn't spin. Tiny bit at the very bottom and a tiny bit at the very top. And that's all it's gonna to take to keep it in place. And now we're going to press the bearing into the connecting rod. And for that purpose, we're gonna use this vise and the socket. And the key is when you're pressing the bearing in, it doesn't have a front. So since the writing is on both sides, it doesn't matter which way it goes. But when you're pressing the bearing in, you need to press only on the outer race. If you press on the inner race, you're gonna ruin the bearing. So what I'm gonna do is Position the bearing like so, just to locate it a little bit. And then we're just gonna rely on our socket. That's it. So now the bearing is all the way in the bore. 